before anything else, what we want to do is open a new document in Procreate app and also go over some basics about hand gestures or lines and brushes that I use in my process. Procreate uses hand gestures, which is a great thing because it acts as a shortcut for you during your process. We're going to create a new document. And before we do that, we need to hit this plus sign right here. And then you hit this plus sign. I want to do inches because I eventually want to print it and I want to make sure that it's a specific size. First, you make sure that it's in inches. Putting 8.5 by 11. And then you want to make sure that your DPI settings are correct. For those of you who are not as familiar with uh, print settings or Procreate app, DPI means the resolution of your image. So, for example, most web images are 72 to 150 DPI. It's their low resolution because they need to take up less data when they're published on the web. With a low resolution like that, you're not going to get a good print. So you need to have it at least 300 DPI. If you're doing something like maybe for a billboard, then probably you're going to have to do a larger DPI, but I usually do 300 because it's good for print and I can convert it later to a lower resolution if somebody needs to use it for web. So I have it at eight and a half by 11 inches at 300 DPI. Pay attention to right here, it says maximum layers. So it's only gonna give me 59 layers. I try not to work with many layers because it's less confusing. So now we're gonna hit create. And then we have our document. Like I said, I like to try to keep my process simple. As you can see, if you click on this brush here, you have already in stock that comes with Procreate, you have so many different options for brushes. I created a folder called Frequent. These are the only two brushes I use. Hard airbrush for super clean lines and vulnerable chalk for like shading and texture. Let me change this color here. This is a hard airbrush. Just to let you know what's cool about Procreate is you can create a straight line by holding it at the end. I use this for sharp lines. As you see in my work, there's a mixture of the face and then I have the, the abstract symbols and typography. That's the combination that I enjoy. And if you do too, then you wanna get a brush that has a crisp edge and a brush that is softer, right? In my case, I use Bonable Chalk, which is this, because it's textured. At the end of my pieces, I like them to feel grainy. So those are the brushes I use right there. You click on this box right here, and this is your layer. So one cool feature about this is how easy it is to create a new layer or simply delete a layer. Okay, for example, let's say we duplicate this. You can either delete it like that, or in some cases, maybe you wanna merge them together. Click on it, and then right here you say merge down. And now it's one layer. One thing that you're gonna find out is when you do Procreate, and if you're somebody who does handmade painting, when you go back, you're gonna to try to do some of the hand gestures. Like for example, you can backspace on Procreate by tapping twice on the screen. See, I keep doing it and it's going back an important hand gesture that saved you a lot of time. You got your circle, and then you put another one. Oh, I don't like that. Double tap, and it's gone. It goes back to the command before. There are many hand gestures and commands. Another one I use sometimes, this only works if you have a solid shape like this. Let me actually show you the differences. You have the solid hard airbrush, And then right here, vulnerable chalk. So this is a cool feature, but it only works with a crisp edge. Procreate has an automatic, like an autofill, that's very convenient, especially if you're somebody who likes to work with more crispy graphic edges. You can just drag your color here, or let's do another color just for fun, into that shape, and then it autofills. 
if you want to do separate layers, then you can just duplicate this. And then beneath it, you can put your color. And then if you don't like it, you can just get rid of it. This is the bottom layer and this is the top layer. And you can toggle those if you want. You just hold it down like this and then drag it on top. You can't do that with the fuzzy edge like this. So let's try it just so you can see. It fills up the whole screen. So these are the basics that I like to use in Procreate.